Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at I Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini-tropolis of Marnie, Marnie, Iowa. I think that's where I'm at today. Check out what they got behind us here. This is an unusual bike. It's a Royal Enfield Hunter 350, but it's not your standard looking uh, Royal Enfield. I think you all can probably see why. Got some add-ons on here, including some very unique things like this gas tank that's not available in America. Of course, it's beautiful fairing. A nifty tail tidy and check out that seat isn't that amazing they also put these bar end mirrors on and look at these blinkers i just love them da, 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 led beautiful beautiful let's go take that hot rod for a ride wahoo the hunter is the best handling of the uh, three 350s that uh, royal infield offers do a quick lap around the uh, yard here to make sure everything works right the brakes and all that neat stuff all righty if y'all are in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph or classic British bike of any type, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini-tropolis of Marty, Iowa. BaxterCycle.com. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Let's take this thing for a spin. I'm liking it already. I love the sound. Very good sounding. Whoop this thing around right here. Look at that. Look at that. 53.9 inch wheelbase I think that was 1370 millimeters runs like a champ runs like a champ wahoo I do like the mirrors some bikes can pull bar ends off very well this is one of them boy this thing just rolls <laughs> I like it I like it a lot sounds very good too let's do the old spin test what I say 53.9 inch wheelbase 1370 millimeters check that out huh this is the bet like I said the best handling of the three Royal Enfields I think it's actually probably the best handling of all the Royal Enfields I call this the hunter scepter because it's the most interceptor like isn't that fun look at that picks up like a banshee handles like a champ whoa this thing is fun Gotta remember there is sand all over our roads right here. We've uh, it's December 8th. Happy birthday, brother Mark. And we've had uh, frost in the morning, so they've uh, treated the roads. Wahoo! Wahoo! Welcome to South Marnie. Look at this thing, just turns around. Oh, Eats up no road at all. Does it like, oh, just look at that, huh? It's got a 300 millimeter disc on the front with a two piston Bybury caliper. 270 millimeter disc on the rear with a single piston Bybury caliper. Boy, this thing sounds good. An absolute hoot to ride. This bike is on sale, by the way. It's a brand new motorcycle with a three year warranty, three year unlimited mile warranty. $5,000 with all these accessories on. They've got a kind of a month of December sale going on. Let's do the hill spin test right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that sand right there. Holy moly. <clears throat> if you all ever make your way to Marnie, Iowa, get yourself over here to the derailed grill right there. Try their Wahoo Burger. <laughs> this thing is a hoot. I like the fairing. It's an interesting looking thing. Really adds, you know, it really goes well with the seat and the bar end mirrors and the, you know, rear, rear set foot pegs and uh, it really makes the thing look like a cafe, cafe racer and a gas tank. It really goes good with a gas tank. I think that's a key feature of this one. It really jumps out at you. When I saw this thing sitting there, when I got here, they laid it out where I could see it when I pulled up and uh, it really grabbed me right away. I just love it. More of that Baxter cycle ethos, you know. Nothing can be left stock. They've got to change everything if they can. <laughs> got to have fun while you can, you know. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's roll this thing down to Motorcycle Park right there. And we'll get the other camera out and have a little walk around. Wahoo! Check out that hot rod. Isn't that just a beautiful machine? Very uh, striking. I just love the red and the black combinations. The wheels have got red, the side covers have got red, the tanks got red, the seat have got red. These are my Tour Master gloves. But check that stitching out in there. Just a wow, you know.
just just beautiful gold here gold around the red gold down here gold down here so red gold and black absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous very well done on their part you know that nifty tail tidy check that out with the LED blinkers tail light fenders gone that custom Royal Enfield seat Royal Enfield custom right there it says Royal Enfield you know it's got the two different materials here the suede on the bottom part right here vinyl down here just gorgeous I love the tires too by the way I think those are stock Seats. I think it's a 140 70 17 140 yeah 140 70 17 and the front is a 110 70 17 beautiful beautiful 300 millimeter front disc dual piston vibri annual lock of course I think the back is a 270 millimeter with a single piston vibri hey you know what I got specs right up here let's look at those the rear is a 270 yes the bike is a has a 53.9 inch wheelbase that's 1370 millimeters you can see that there 5.9 inches of ground clearance that's 149 millimeters the seat is a whopping 31.1 inches at 790 millimeters I think it's lower than that but uh, you know that kind of feels that way because the bike is so narrow very narrow and uh, this might be a lower seat than stock too gas tank is 3.4 gallons in stock form I don't know what this gas tank would hold in stock form it would be about 13 liters I know this is different than the, the uh, standard tank it's a different design and everything it's just a gorgeous thing isn't it weight of this hot rod with a full tank of fuel is 399 pounds it's uh, eight, 181 kilograms other add-ons if I haven't mentioned them already the MK design fairing the blinkers are LED the bar end mirrors already talked about the tail tidy in the seat just so well done and, and look at look at this just what's a good angle here we got the pipe that nifty seat that beautiful tank the bar end mirrors swooping around like this check that out just gorgeous gorgeous mag wheels so they wanted to put spokes on these they've got the black rims with the shiny spokes and they might do that on another one but I think on this one they're gonna keep it with the mags and I think that's a good idea especially with this red and gold very sharp you know look at this the shocks are black you know everything is you know blacked out the fins are not milled on the ends you know you got that nice dark you know almost sinister I use that word in another video but the, you know very nice just one beautiful machine all the way around I am just so impressed with these uh, riding these is a real treat so of the uh, three 350 models that the Royal Enfield currently has they have they have the um, meteor which has foot pegs up here the classic which has foot pegs here and then the hunter which has these rear set foot pegs this is the most sporty bike of the three this is the lightest so higher power to weight ratio this has the uh, 17 inch wheels front and rear the engine is lower you know the less ground clearance the engine there's no frame underneath the engine on this particular model so lower center of gravity smaller tires lighter weight motorcycle overall sporty seating position just makes for some great handling an absolute hoot to ride and of course with that lightweight you get those excellent brakes I think Royal Enfields have great brakes by the way and if you wanted to lose more weight on this you could take that kickstand off and probably save 20 pounds center stand it comes with a center stand stock Perfect. and what else does it have well it has these absolutely wonderful levers I love the curved design the way they narrow at the end the taper on the edges here you know just very well done they work very good with this AMO style uh, grips okay up here we've got an information button flash to pass low beam high beam blinkers horn kill switch run switch and then rocker switch to start over here is the hazard lights gas of course and then the brake lever same kind of lever this one has the bar end mirrors isn't that neat jumping up here to the oculus I call this the oculus so you've got the analog speedometer on the outside down here you've got a battery light fuel light neutral light all that neat stuff there in the center but you have an inch and a half LCD in the center which is the uh, digital fuel gauge on the perimeter top got an always visible clock always visible uh, gear indicator which is really nice by the way then the odometer on the bottom now you can change the odometer from odometer to trip meter a or trip meter b by pushing this button over here and then something I always forget to mention is down below here there is a USB port 
that's protected for weather somewhere. Right there it is. USB, see it? Snap that shut. That USB port is active when the bike's on. So when you shut your bike off, the USB port shuts off as well. Isn't that just a beautiful thing? Just beautiful. Baxter's always hitting it out of the park with these things. It's just a lovely machine. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, if you are interested in a bike like this one, new or used Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, need parts, accessories, t-shirts, boots, coats, jackets, doodads, backpacks, you name it, gloves. <laughs> Get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Da, da, da. Or go to BaxterCycle.com. Make sure you tell those guys that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, it is a beautiful afternoon here. It's December 8th, my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Mark. But uh, you know what? It's about 50 some odd degrees. I'm gonna go for a bike ride. Y'all do the same if you can. Life is good. Wahoo.